We're gonna talk real quick about how to approach wiring the front of the boat. Hey, it's Tom from Tom's Tunes. We're gonna talk real quick about how to approach wiring the front of the boat. I have these docking lights from pontoonstuff.com along with the LED uh, navigation lights. The wire for the LED goes into a front corner seat and it'll come down through the floor. And then our LED nav lights on both sides have that wiring just sticking out underneath. So I have the pontoonstuff.com wiring harness. This green and gray is my navigation lights. And then my black and gray is my docking lights. When we look at the harness, it's gonna split and you're gonna have a long section, which is made to come across the boat to the port side. And then if we look over here, we have a short section, my green and gray, my black and gray, and then you'll find this orange and white, that is a horn. And actually we're gonna run that up through the floor as well, because my horn is gonna be mounted underneath this front seat here. So what I'm gonna do, they're taped together. I'm gonna go ahead and free up my horn to go up and I'm gonna take a black as a ground. So I'll take my horn, that's gonna go up through the seat. I have a 5 16 inch drill bit. You might be able to get away with a quarter inch as well. But I'm gonna go ahead and put my holes in under the seats for my horn and for my docking lights. This is for that pontoon stuff docking light. I'm gonna run this down through the seat and through the floor of the boat. We'll pull it tight from underneath. I have to put one more hole in on this side for our other docking light. I'm all done up in the boat. Let's get down to wiring it. Let's start with the horn. I'm just gonna push those wires up. I don't have the horn with me right this second, but I'm gonna push them up through that hole I just made so that they're out of the way here. And I can wire that under the seat later. Now I'm going to find another ground wire for my navigation light, which again is that gray and green. I'm going to take my navigation light wire. This is that short side of the harness. I've pulled that wire and a ground, the black wire. I'm going to cut the excess off on this. And then I'm going to strip back just about a quarter of an inch. And I'm going to attach a heat shrink butt splice. And now, corresponding to my nav light, my black is still my ground, my solid white is my power. So solid white, we'll start there, is gonna go to that green and gray. And my black is gonna go to my ground, or the black from the harness. We'll take our heat shrink gun, and shrink these splices up. We've got our butt splices, heat shrink nice and tight so that water can't get in. The next wires I'm gonna find are my black and gray, which is my docking light, as well as my ground, just a solid black. We're gonna run these through to the middle of the boat where our headlight wire is coming down. So I have a long lead coming off of that docking light. So this docking light goes in through the railing, through the seat, down through the floor, this is what's left. So I'm gonna cut off again some of this excess from the harness. And then I'll cut back or strip back some of that sheathing. Buy the nicer wire stripping and crimping tools. They'll last forever and they'll make your life a lot easier. Let's face it, if you own a boat, you're gonna splice more wire at some point. On my docking light, instead of white for a power like our navigation light, it's red. That's gonna go to my gray and black, which is my power coming from the harness. And then black to black for the ground. 
on your harness, you're gonna have that short side that stays on the starboard side of the boat, and then you're gonna have about eight or nine feet of wire that's made to cut across to the other side of the port side. I've taken that electric tape off so I can separate my docking lights, they're gonna stay close here, and my navigation lights that need to run all the way to the other side. So I'm gonna go ahead and run these to the other side. Gonna cut off some of the excess wire. and strip it back. We're really just repeating the process now of wiring in my navigation light and wiring in that docking light. For this port side docking light, I have all this tail again with the red and black, red being power, black being ground. I ran my docking light wire from the harness, the gray and black, underneath of the nav light came back. So I'm gonna cut again some of this excess off and what we'll do when we're all done with splicing and heat shrinking is we'll tie all these wires up with some clips uh, with a stainless screw so everything's nice and snug to the bottom of the boat. Nothing gets caught or grabbed when people are swimming. That was pretty quick and easy getting my docking lights and my nav lights wired to the pontoonstuff.com harness. Hopefully that helps you when you're tackling this part of your project. We've got our docking lights, nice and bright LEDs, our LED nav lights, and if you peek inside, we've got the courtesy lights or accent LEDs. Stay tuned for another episode for how to install those.